I love professional wrestling, despite, you know, professional wrestling. But I have been enamored with the story of Sami Zayn and the Bloodline, so much so I made a video on it that did very well, sharing my passion for something that I genuinely love. But today, we continue the story and we pick up from where we left off, not with this guy yet, but with this guy. The 1B, as an unnamed WWE executive recently named him off the record to Fightful, the honorary oos no more, Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn, who after standing up to the bloodline to save his longtime friend and rival Kevin Owens at the Royal Rumble, proceeds to spend weeks fending off a vengeful Roman Reigns, challenges the tribal chief for the WWE title at Elimination Chamber in Sami's hometown in Montreal. Anticipation doesn't do it. Justice. But sometime before Elimination Chamber, it isn't Roman Reigns that Sammy calls out. It's the man who, by winning the Royal Rumble this past January, has already punched his ticket to the main event of WrestleMania in April, no matter who's champion. That man is. How to summarize Cody Rhodes in a paragraph? It's uh, it's it's impossible, but here goes. Son of famed legendary wrestler Dusty. You know, you know what? No, let's not start there. Cody Rhodes was a wrestler in WWE all on his own who was thoroughly good. And then he left to prove his worth on the independence and in Japan, and there he was thoroughly good. Three-star Cody, you're my favorite mid-carter, etc. Also, I met him at a Ring of Honor show. He was just the best and so very nice. Cody has always been great. Screw the haters and also don't ask about the bear. But then he formed AEW, the first real competition to WWE in North America in two decades, changed the business for the better, reinvented himself, supported new talent, got a questionable tattoo, put on some banger matches, and then he got outright rejected by the fan base he himself helped build, saw his contract coming to a renewal date, and decided to go back to WWE. And let's not downplay this, it's certifiably insane that Cody Rhodes, one of the founding fathers of AEW, is in WWE at all, let alone challenging Roman Reigns for the world title in the main event of WrestleMania, but oh man, have we already lost the thread. Let's rewind back to Cody Rhodes and Sami Zayn stand in the ring, and WWE is playing with fire here. See, Sami Zayn is the people's choice, the underdog in black street clothes. Cody is the main character, the company chosen man, and boy does he dress like it, who has gone through his very own impressive tribulations mind. I didn't even mention Cody tore his peck off the bone and won a Hell in a Cell match right after? I, I mean, goddamn. But Cody helps Sammy here. He's not jealous that Sammy may win and change the main event of WrestleMania. He urges Sammy to win, to finish the story, to accept that Sami Zayn can break the bloodline by causing dissension in it and by beating Roman Reigns. Two good guys supporting each other without compromising their convictions or their wants. That is a rare thing in wrestling. The Smackdown before Elimination Chamber, Sami Zayn, having just come out to his song, finally on his own and free, stands in the ring and is cheered for five straight minutes, saying not a word. Love. Six years prior, Roman Reigns, having defeated The Undertaker at WrestleMania the night before, trapped in a role he does not want, is booed for five straight minutes, saying not a word. Hate. And here we are, 2023 Montreal, and Sammy doesn't beat Roman for the title, but he pushes him farther than anyone else had. And at the end of the night, he is saved by his friend, Kevin Owens. It would take weeks for the two to fully embrace to a thunderous ovation, Triple H's style of booking paying off in these loud Glory Days style moments with the crowd. It would take weeks for Jey Uso to finally side with Jimmy, his brother, not out of loyalty to Roman Reigns, but to save Jimmy from Roman's wrath. Jey and Jimmy will defend their own legendary tag team title reign against Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens at WrestleMania, not at Jimmy's insistence, but at Jey's, who seeks an end to all of this whatever that may come to mean. It would take weeks for Roman Reigns to begin to see that the wise man, Paul Heyman, has perhaps outlived his usefulness, and that Solo Sokoa, the feared enforcer of the bloodline, can't be relied upon to deal with Cody Rhodes, and Sami Zayn, and Kevin Owens. As good as he is, and he is great, he is just not ready. So, 
The tribal chief must stand and face the challengers to his throne. For the past three years, the gaslighting of his family, the manipulation, the insecurity has truly boiled to the surface for all to see. Slights against Cody about his father do not work, intimidation to the once fearful Sami Zayn does not work, brutality to the unbreakable Kevin Owens does not work, the bloodline goes into WrestleMania weakened not just by the challengers, but by the chief. And now, as I write this, Monday Night Raw is going on the air on the evening of March 27th, 2023. Sammy and KO sit together, united at last, ready to go to war with one of the best tag teams of all time in the Usos. That match will be special. Cody Rhodes makes his entrance, fighting Solo Sokoa, ending his undefeated streak. Cody Rhodes, who with every passing week since the Royal Rumble, has received an even more raucous ovation than the last, with each week proving he made the right call for him. To bet on himself and leave WWE, to become the American Nightmare on the Independence, and then in AEW, and to return to claim the title his father never won, but maybe more importantly, the title Cody has truly earned and I expect will carry more than well. I built my kingdom. As I upload this, it is Friday, March 31st. Tonight is the go-home Friday Night Smackdown. Tomorrow is WrestleMania Night 1. Whatever main events, though I hope it's Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens against the Usos for the World Tag Team titles, it will be special. But main eventing WrestleMania Night 2 will be Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns for the WWE title. I will be watching. Because man, sometimes wrestling is just good. It's theater, it's art, it's sports, it's entertainment, it's drama, it's comedy, it's everything. WWE is not perfect. Professional wrestling is not perfect. Any performance is going to inherently be imperfect. But this story, told imperfectly but beautifully over literal years now, with so many compelling characters coming and going, contributing to it, benefiting from it, that's beautiful. Let's watch its next step together and see where it takes us. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on Friday. Where is that referee? He was trying to fuck on me.